Never been to Vancouver? Can't even find it on a map? Don't worry. Chances are you've seen it already and know the city inside and out. Despite rarely appearing as itself, countless films and TV shows are made in and around the city every year. While growing up, it was always exciting to spot locations I knew and frequented. So here are some of Vancouver's landmarks you didn't know, you already know. Let's start with something easy and YouTube marketable. Deadpool! Yay! That great highway shootout opener? That's the Georgia and Dunsmuir viaducts. Next is one of my childhood favorites, Happy Gilmore. Literally every major golf course in the Vancouver area is in this movie. Welcome to soggy San Francisco. Nice try. That's Furry Creek. Ah, the Swanset Country Club House. Been to my fair share of events there. Continuing with childhood favorites, it's the never-ending story. That's East Vancouver. Look, there's Harbor Center. A tower with two Canadian spellings in its name. Also from Harbor Center, you have a great view of Blade. Oh boy, I wouldn't dive into that dumpster. <laughs> Talking about East Vancouver, Jackie Chan is only a couple blocks away in Rumble in the Bronx. Holy shit, we're back at Swanee Set. Look, even Happy and Chubbs are there. Always funny to see the North Shore Mountains in New York. Let's head back to downtown. How about some Tron Legacy? The Encom Tower is actually the living Shangri-La, Vancouver's tallest building. Well, for now. Just a 10 minute walk away is the Fantastic Four headquarters at the beautiful Marine Building, an art deco classic, though it has been doubled in height here. The real question though is where the fuck were the Fantastic Four when Godzilla attacked in 2014? They were likely stuck in traffic in the Hastings Tunnel, alongside Will Smith and iRobot and Tron Legacy again. Vancouver ain't no stranger to disaster. Look at what Arnold Schwarzenegger did to the main branch of the public library in the sixth day. It isn't safe anywhere in Vancouver. Just ask the Final Destination series. Ah, Playland at the p &E. Oh no. How can things get any worse? The Lionsgate Bridge? Well, so far the standstill traffic is true to life. P.S. This bridge is also the namesake for Lionsgate Studios and the inspiration for the bridge in Paw Patrol. Oh God, where were Ryder and the pups this time? Sadly, Vancouver rarely plays itself, almost always standing in for Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, LA, Chicago, New York, Germany, Japan. And it's not as if Vancouver doesn't have major homegrown stars with enough clout to actually base their films in their home city if they had any civic pride at all. Jesus, Seth, 50-50 actually made audiences in Vancouver laugh out loud in the theater, and not because of your jokes. We open with running on the seawall around Stanley Park in overcast winter weather. Very Vancouver. Look, it's the Lionsgate Bridge again. There's the North Shore. Wow, the Seattle Times, fuck off. Would this movie really have lost any revenue if it actually took place in Vancouver and not Seattle? <sighs> there seems to be no Peter Jacksons for Vancouver. Well, that's it for today. But there will be many more locations to go over in a future video. Like, share, subscribe.